Greetings folks, uh, I'm back in the saddle and recording videos again because we moved into our new home. Finally uh, got everything uh, moved into the house, uh, it took quite a while, uh, but yeah, we're, we're very happy where, we, where we've settled now. I haven't set up my recording studio or anything yet, but uh, out on the, uh, the back deck here is uh, a good spot to give you an idea of the lovely sounds and uh, environment that we're living in. So, first video I'm going to do is uh, a viewer request from a chap called Sandy Johnson from Invercargill who was asking whether it's possible to read the output of a pot or a slider on the transmitter. Uh, yes, it definitely is. Very, very easy. So we can have it on the screen, on the display screen there. I don't, you may not be able to see it, but uh, you may see the value of the S1 pot there changing. Uh, but we also have... Amber telling us uh, exactly what value we're, we're set on. Set on. So uh, let's go in closer and have a look at how to do that. Very, very simple. Uh, and he wanted to know uh, how to do it on the Tyrannus X9D Plus. So let's go. So here's my Tyrannus X9D Plus. I have a model Sonic binary, which I don't have anymore, but that'll do for setting it up. And we will push the menu button and uh, page uh, cross right to the end we could do a long hold of page to go backwards but we get to the display page and we go down to screen one and change that to nums or numbers then we can uh, display numbers on the telemetry screen uh, push the minus to go down to the first position enter and we can choose uh, say we want to have the value of the S1 pot. So if you wiggle the S1 pot, that's going to show up there. So that is uh, all we need to do for the display screen. So to get to the display screen, you just hold down the page long hold. Then you'll get the S1 value there on the screen. And you can see it goes from 100 to minus 100. And it's as simple as that. You can do any switch or anything you want to do. Let's do something else. Uh, menu long hold a page to the shortcut we'll go to the next item let's say we'll make that the this Zero switch over X. here no not that switch that way it's uh, the sc switch uh, so edit, get out of that long hold the page button and you've got sc 0 100 minus 100 0 and 100 and the s1 pot going from minus 100 to 100 Okay, so how do we get the audio readout? So for the audio readout, we go to menu, uh, page right across to special functions. And I've already entered it in here, but basically what we're doing, you select the switch to activate the special function, which is play the value. And uh, now I've got my momentary switch, which uh, on this radio I've swapped over to the top left. Uh, but if you haven't done any, any mods, it'll be on the top right. So I've got the momentary switch. Let's highlight that. Minus three. Hold the momentary switch down to uh, get the SF down and then enter. So now the switch that's going to activate this special function is the SF switch in the down position. Go across to uh, the next one and choose play value from the list of things you can do in special functions, play value. Go across to the next item and what do you want to play the value of? Uh, get it flashing and we'll do the S1 pot there. Just wiggle the S1 pot and it will get highlighted or get chosen. You can choose uh, the, how many times it says it. That's just one times or once every second. Let's leave it at one times. So now, get out of that. Let's have a look at the uh, display page. So the S1 is on minus 4, and that's what Amber's telling us. Minus 98. And the same with minus 98. And we can do the same for this switch minus too. Minus 3. So there you go. There's two, two methods to uh, get the value of a pot or a slider or whatever switch you choose while you're flying, either audio or by looking at the display screen. So there you go, that'll be my first video from our new place. And uh, thanks Sandy for asking the question. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.